Tuning USA is brought to you by Les Fair Customs 1911s. Hand fitted to perfection because you'll accept nothing less. And by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. In precision rifle shooting, it's all about building a stable position for your long shots. But what do you do when your bipod won't help? Well, k &M Chief Instructor Shannon Kay has the answer. Shooting from a standing barricade position is a challenge many shooters will face in today's precision rifle competitions. In today's pro tip, we're going to review the fundamentals. We're going to maximize your accuracy and we're going to dispel some common misconceptions. Shooting from a non-prone position is going to require extra care and preparation as we build our position when shooting from a standing barricade position. It all begins with a stable platform. We're replacing our front bipod and we want to use a heavy rear bag similar to this. You can see that the rifle is already generally self-stabled. We need to apply the proper fundamentals as we get down and apply the shot. The shooter wants to get square behind the gun. All right, we want to minimize our natural point of aim errors even in a standing position. So my shoulders and my body is square. I'll let the bag support the gun and then I'm going to shoulder it. That shoulder is going to introduce some muscle movement. Again, that's a violation of the fundamentals and we want to reduce that. I'll take my non-firing hand and just gently guide it on the gun. My firing hand is just controlling the gun. It is not aiming the gun. It is just guiding the gun so I can have a correct and proper trigger pull straight to the rear. Next, I will align my sights. As I align my sights, it will tell me how good my position is compared to the shot I'm about to take. If I have a significant amount of movement, then the shot is gonna be a low percentage shot. If I apply my fundamentals and still shoulder the gun with the proper amount of muscle tension, then I'm able to re manage my recoil and call my shot and follow through properly. With the introduction of these heavy front bags, it has allowed the precision rifle shooter to establish much more stable positions. However, as a result, we're seeing a lot of fundamental errors and we want to address one misconception. That misconception is what we call free recoil. Free recoil essentially allows the gun to fire without any input or any management from the shooter. That's troublesome. It's troublesome because it ignores other fundamentals or compromises those fundamentals. Those fundamentals are steady position, recoil management, and most importantly, follow through. The precision rifle shooter needs to follow through so the shooter can account for every single round downrange. Whether it's a hit or a miss, he need, or she needs to evaluate their wind call, where they hit on the target, and make those adjustments for the next and subsequent shots. So shooters, when you're out on the range and you're experimenting, make sure you apply all the fundamentals correctly. See what works for you and apply all the fundamentals in an equal fashion and don't compromise one over the other. Thanks again for tuning into the Shooting USA YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed the content. A couple of notes, make sure you take advantage of SUSA15 at SnapSafe.com. That's our discount code that saves you 15% on anything from SnapSafe. And that gets to be some big money when you start talking about modular safes and vault doors. Also, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our new content. As always, a like and a comment helps us with that algorithm.